Hello and welcome to Formosa News. I'm Ken Lee. And I'm Jenny Chang. When Taiwan Straits Exchange Foundation got a new chairman in September, it decided to make his job a paid position after not paying its chairman in the past. On Thursday, it proposed a monthly salary of more than 230,000 Taiwan dollars for the job. But lawmakers cried foul, saying the figure was higher than what's paid to the head of the Mainland Affairs Council, which oversees the foundation. The Straits Exchange Foundation finished a review of the proposed pay for its new chairman, Lin zhong Sun, and sent it to the Mainland Affairs Council. The amount proposed is slightly more than the ICF vice chairman receives. The Mainland Affairs Council will gather scholars and experts to review the proposal. The foundation's vice chairman, Gao Konlian, makes 230,000 NT a month. So Lin's proposed pay is above that. It is also higher than the 190,000 NT currently earned by the head of the Mainland Affairs Council, Wang Yuqi. To some lawmakers, it seems odd that the head of a semi-official foundation could make more than a ministerial level chief. There's an administrative ethics issue here. The SCF receives funding from the Mainland Affairs Council and gets its authority from the council. This is a system in disarray. It shouldn't be that way. The SCF is not alone. A number of foundations and institutes under the government pay relatively high salaries. Economics Minister Shi Yanxiang, whose agency supervises many such institutes, said he would address the issue with them. 